Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Roton E500. This is another radio from this company, but it's their top of the line model, their highest end version, which really makes a lot of sense. It modernizes what a radio should be and combines it with a Bluetooth speaker and also a digital audio player that makes it a lot more compelling here in 2017. Obviously, you do pay a bit more of a premium for more features and a more refined design, but I think this could be something quite useful if you need a radio for backup purposes, but also a speaker for listening to your music, and it combines a very high-tech uh, inspired look as well. So on the sides here, you can see quite a few features are, are listed. It does have a torch as well as a microphone for using as a speakerphone if you want to answer calls after connecting it using Bluetooth to your smartphone. It works with both iPhone as well as Android and Windows phones. It includes an LCD display and it also has a replaceable battery. You can insert your micro SD cards loaded with music. So there's quite a lot of features on here. It comes in four colors as well and we have this uh, Scion version and it, the net weight here is 198 grams. It's still pretty light. Uh, also uses a standard 1,500 milliamp hour capacity rechargeable with iron bat. Inside the packaging we have access to the radio itself. Let's take a closer look at this in a second. Below here we have access to the same set of accessories we saw from the previous radio we checked out from this company, inclusive of a lanyard strap and also a micro USB cable. You use this cable to charge the radio and it takes about two hours to completely charge and afterwards you can use it for months on end with uh, sporadic usage in between before you need to recharge it again. Here we have a quick start guide that documents the various features. You can see that this is a stereo speaker, un unlike the previous version, which was mono. So this does produce a left and right channel in addition to a passive radiator in the center. So the sound quality here is a lot louder and more impressive sounding. And tells you how to set it up, turn on Bluetooth, so on and so forth. Let's take a look at the design of the radio first. So it's also made out of plastic, which makes it fairly lightweight. But as you can see, the grills here are made out of this aluminum material, and we have the left and right channels in addition to the passive radiator for better low frequency performance. The controls on here are also laid out in a pretty modern text. They're tactile, they're risen above the surface, and you can easily tap on them by feel. And you use these controls to skip through multiple tracks or go to a very specific uh, radio channel for listening to tunes. There's also a M key, which is the mode key that toggles back and forth between playing back music, loaded onto the unit, or using the FM radio. You can also save, um, you can tap on here to start pairing a phone using the Bluetooth functionality. You can answer or reject phone calls as well. Skip tracks, play pause, volume controls, power on off, and the very top feature is a micro SD card slot in addition to a toggle for the flashlight, which is again also LED and very bright. Good enough for a bit of emergency situations and good enough for reading some quick text when on the go. There's also a volume adjustment bar on the side here, which is very clever because it's easy to navigate and to use. There's also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack if you don't wanna use these speakers on here and also a standard micro USB port for charging. The bottom features two rubber feet that prevents the unit from sliding around on a surface or a desk. And on the back, you have access to the antenna, which is uh, allows you to extend the reception and uh, the FM radio can perform a little better if you are indoors or underground. So uh, not ideal conditions, but it still works decently in those cases. So let's take a quick look at the menu here. Let's tap on the power key once to turn it on. And you can see that, that by default, Bluetooth is going to flash and uh, be on so that you can connect to it. There's also the battery status on the very top there. And by default, it's gonna try to connect to a phone and play back music through that source or through a loaded uh, MP3 track into the micro SD card. So that's what the default is set to. Here's a radio mode activated. You can tap on the center key here for a few seconds to start searching for active channels and it will save those after it loops continuously and goes through every single channel. Afterwards, you can navigate through the clearest channels that you have available by tapping on the left or right keys when you're in the FM radio mode. So this works pretty well and has a bit of a memory feature so it can save stations for you. For instance, here is a station that we have that's uh, relatively decent in this current area. There's still a bit of static, but you can kind of hear the music. So. A little bit of static because we're underground and indoors, so it's not ideal, but it still does work and can pick up a decent amount of channels. Uh, as far as volume quality is concerned, it does work pretty well, so you have left and right channels. And even if you use this as a Bluetooth speaker, you get more of a three-dimensional sound than from just a traditional mono speaker, which makes it great for playing back movies, 
as well as pop music, electronic music, tracks that have a bit of dynamics to play around with. And the center here with the passive radiator does work fairly well too. So if you have a bit of rock tracks or thump, it does uh, perform quite well. You can also plug in your own, of course, uh, 3.5 mil jacks just to use as more of a mp3 player of sorts if you want to do that. I can tap on the mode key for a few seconds there just to toggle back and forth between some of the other features and you know between the mp3 mode, the fm radio, and just going back into the main menu just using bluetooth or something like that. So it works pretty well, it's pretty intuitive, it doesn't take that much time to get used to and most of the core functions are easy to figure out without diving too deeply into the navigation or into the instruction manual. So anyways guys, this has been our quick video first look and a quick review of the Roton E500. This is a digital music player and a modern version of an FM radio that combines a Bluetooth speaker into its integrated design. We think it's pretty clever and it performs fairly well. Uh, so if you're looking for this all-in-one design, this is definitely one to consider checking out. You can learn more details about this in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Roton E500 Bluetooth FM radio.